the next step now is to create your first feature file. To do that, to create your first feature file, what you need to do is right click on the feature folder and click on add, click on new item. This is where you need to now confirm that you've been able to configure your spec flow with Visual Studio IDE. If you cannot see any of this spec flow item at the top of this page, then you've not been able to configure spec flow with your ID. You should go through this step to integrate spec flow with Visual Studio, which I've explained earlier. So for you to create your feature file, your first feature file, you click on spec flow feature file and let's say we are creating our feature file for the login so you type the name of the feature file as login most feature the feature file will have extension of dot features but you don't need to put that at all so that is fine you don't need to do that you just need to say login so and after you've done that you click on add To create to create your feature file, you need to click on step spec flow. To create your feature file, you need to cl click on this item, which is the spec flow feature file. Then after you've clicked it, then you need to write the name of the feature file that you are creating let's say for instance we are writing a step for login or registration so let's first say registration every feature file would have dot feature at the end but at this point even if you don't put it here it would automatically be added so let's say we remove everything and we say we creating registration and then after that you ensure that you click on add that should create a feature registration feature file for you as you can see it's got registration dot feature so and then you can if you drill down on that a c sharp class is created for you automatically by the designer so which is this you don't need to work on this at all you don't even need to open it you don't need to this is auto generated for you every time you run your you make changes to your uh, to your feature file this is automatically generated and if you have any issues and it's not able to generate you right click and you say run custom to it's going to generate that for you but you don't you don't need to do that anytime it out should automatically generate for you so let's open that so this is this start on uh, template is going to be given to you we can quickly update that so we remove the description we want to say given okay let's say as a user of the site i would like to register so that 
I can log in to the site. So then let's say our first scenario is navigating to the registration page. Then in your giving, I can say giving I navigate to the site. When I don't need the and, so just want to write a very simple scenario when I click on the register link then I should be then I can say then the registration registration page is displayed so that's what we that's the scenario that we would be implementing so three lines in giving when then in the next class we're going to talk about this what is giving what is when and what is then so and for now let's just go through this as it is then this is your first feature file created don't forget it's very very important that you save this file because i've seen situation when people don't save and you create your step definition which we're going to do later and it's not being mapped correctly or so and it's very very important that you you save it so that you can be able to link that with the right step definition then as we've done that i would build my site just to be sure that everything is fine okay so he said everything is successful and then you have this test being displayed here and as you can see this is my project and that is the training feature that we've created so and inside that we have registration which is registration and then we now have inside the registration we have the scenario so that's this sequence and you can have more than one scenario in the test so for instance if i say that um also each scenario should have a unique name because for in this instance i just copy and paste if i try to run my test let's say i build it so that passed but if i clean and i try try to run again so that should fail and it's failing because it's telling me that this scenario name is not unique it already contains the same scenario so you need to make sure that you have that uh, scenario name uniquely defined let me see let's say we put not navigating to registration this is just a quick example anyway uh, if okay it's gone just to reconfirm i can clean the solution it's a good practice to make sure you clean your solution by cleaning your solution your um 
test is rebuilt, that everything is rebuilt. So you can now rebuild that. So as you can see now, we now have two scenarios. Yeah, this is the first one, and this is the second one. Well, that we can change the given. So the given, or maybe we should leave the given because you need to navigate to the site, and then let's say you now click on a link let's say you click on login link then you want to confirm that registration page is not displayed so that is what you want to establish this is basically that you are doing negative testing that is that this is our first test first feature file created like i said ensure that we save the test that is that